Hello, my name is Hingus. My husband and I has been married for 11 years. Uh, we worked very hard all those years to build our career and businesses here in the UK. Therefore, we postponed our baby plan until recently. We decided it was the right timing to have our baby to start our little family. So I googled it to search how to conceive fast and I discovered mostly baby. Uh, it is the concept of it, it is something like uh, RUI, artificial insemination, but it is a home kit, it is home insemination. So I use it, each package has two syringe. Each time you need to dispose the syringe, you can re reuse it. I used the kit for about five months and I got pregnant and it is really works for us. And I was two to three weeks uh, pregnant. Uh, I called the NHS uh, maternity unit. I called such early because uh, a friend of mine told me as soon as you got pregnant, you can uh, contact the NHS and someone will follow your case. Uh, but when it was my time and when I called them and then the nurse told me I called too early they suggested me to call back six weeks uh, so I discovered they don't provide too early pregnancy support so anyway I called back six weeks later and a nurse to arrange me to have a phone interview on the eight weeks um, so I wait another two weeks uh, until somebody called me. During the phone interview, they asked me many questions. Uh, it is something like, um, what you are doing? What's your husband doing? What is your medical history? What is your family medical history? Etc. Etc. Lots of questions. I remember one question uh, the nurse asked me on the phone Did you have any bleeding or discharge, or whatever? And I, I told her I didn't have any bleeding. So that sounds perfect. And But unfortunately, the day after the phone interview, I start to spotting and the uh, discharge, the color was uh, dark brown. Um, it wasn't a bright red or pink color. Uh, and I Google it and search lots of um, information. And people said that if it is dark brown, nothing need to worry. Uh, as long as it is not a red color, bright red or pink color. But I just keep in mind, I'm, ju I'm just feeling so nervous. Anyway, I took some photos on those discharge and the following day and when I attend the blood test, I showed those pictures to the nurse and the nurse told me uh, nothing need to worry because it wasn't a bright red color, it wasn't a pink color, so you don't need to worry anything. So just ask me to relax and keep calm and carry on. And But I just found uh, it wasn't wise. Unfortunately, the nurse didn't offer me to have an emergency scan in the maternity unit. And I was disappointed because I already there. The scan wound is just right next to the butt test wound. And I found if I have a chance to have a scan on that day, I will be more resumed. And I am not feeling any moment feel it is relaxed. So I don't feel it is right anyway. I really want to have a scan, but unfortunately they didn't offer me any scan. Uh, during the weekend, I start to beating more and more often. It seems non-stop following that uh, week and I contact my GP. Um, my GP arranged the emergency scan for me. Uh, so I have a chance to uh, have an initial ultrasound. Uh, that time already nine weeks. I never thought have any issue. I just feel maybe it is just minor issue. I never thought about it. It is a sign of miscarriage or, or things like that. I entered the ultrasound room and the sonographer uh, tried to scan me and unfortunately nothing can scan. And she measured the gestation site. The size is correct, nine weeks. There's no baby inside. There's no uh no baby inside so she double check everything and she gave me the feeling it wasn't right and she told me unfortunately we can't find any baby inside your tummy and it seems like a miscarriage and then 
And then that time I was so disappointed and I was shocked. And I never expect there is no baby inside. Uh, the embryo was too early stage to die out, to stop develop. So it was very shock news for me. And then later the daughter come back to, uh, to talk to us and said that um, give another week chance to see whether the baby will go or just slow development. And then my husband and I returned back home and I can't stop myself to crying because already nine weeks. Suppose you should see the baby and with the heartbeat, but nothing there. I know the doctor just tried to comfort me to say, maybe there is a chance the baby develop later, later on stage. But at that moment, I don't think, unless it is really miracle come, otherwise I don't think it will happen. I think it is one and a half day later, I start to beating more and more, large amount of butt come out. I feel my whole body organ it is all coming out. Feeling it is, if you stand up walking and your whole body will be collapsed. I feel super unwell and my husband arranged me to the a and &E. I was no blood pressure on that time. It was quite dangerous. The doctor helped me to took out any remaining pregnancy tissues and they sent those tissues to another lab to investigate to see what caused the miscarriage. I just couldn't stop myself crying and it was horrible. It was awful. All those experiences. It is hard to describe really. I found this was the most sadness, depressed situation in my entire life. I just constantly questioning myself, how can I to avoid miscarriage again? My husband helped me to uh, search the OBs uh, online. He found one OBs and uh, she's expertise on the recurrence miscarriage. I just want to say in the UK, if you only one time or two time miscarriage, they won't offer you any investigation. You need to be at least three time miscarriage so they will offer you investigation. I only have one time so I had to investigate it by myself privately. So we visit the OBs and she's not very helpful. She said, just said that uh, try again. All she gave us the advice is try again. She didn't give us any advice to uh, investigate anything. Uh, miscarriage is just happen randomly. She's very, very unhelpful. And I just feel very, very angry and disappointed. We drive three hours there and all we got is just try again. So you can email to reply me try again. You don't need to meet us in person. She was just waste my time. I know NHS is not going to investigate because you only one time miscarriage. They don't care. I understand, but the point is I pay private consultation and I would really expect the answer or useful advice. She didn't look at my case. For example, she just said, oh, you look healthy. You can try again, it, it will happen. First of all, how you know I am healthy without checking my body? She's just rubbish. I discover some fertility center. They offer AMH level check up and baseline checking. So I booked an apartment for my AMH. My AMH level is normal in my age range. So all looks normal and that is a good news. AMH level check up is something to check how many eggs you have remaining in your ovary. Some people, they are young but their AMH level is very low. So it means they are almost one out of egg. For me, I feel it is very important for every woman to go to check up the AMH level. You don't want to have a shocking news when you want to uh, decide to have a baby and then you go to check up and you discover you, you have a low AMH level. It means you're all, almost one out of egg. So I, I would recommend everyone go to check. If you discover you have very low AMH level, it is the right timing for you to freeze your egg when you was young. My daughter found out I have perfect uterus thickness 
everything looks fine. Follicle count, he told me each cycle is different. For example, this cycle you have 10, next cycle maybe 12, or next cycle maybe 8, come back, so each cycle is different. On that time, when I check up, I have around 10 follicles. It is evenly on both sides of my ovary. Everything looks fine. Also, he discovered I have B fibers. Those fibers is very far away from the uterus. He told me it wasn't the reason to cause you miscarriage. It is nothing related. The next question is, how can I avoid miscarriage? I had bitten open at nine weeks and it is more likely miscarriage due to the chromosome abnormal. When you're getting older, the more likely you will produce abnormal eggs and having an abnormal embryos. I searched a number of fertility center uh, website and I discovered there is a technique called uh, PGTA. It is P implantation genetic testing for NU protein. That is the technique they can test the chromosome whether normal or abnormal. So they will take the biopsy. It is a, a field cell from each embryo, and then they can take the biopsy to send to the lab and check whether it is chromosome normal or abnormal. I believe this technique is something we are looking for. It can help us to testing the embryo before implantation. To do this, we needed to go through the fertility treatment, IVF. It is really, really tough process and decision. Although I know uh, this PGTA test is not 100% can avoid miscarriage, we decided to go for it. We will continue to share our fertility journey. Honestly, I don't know how long it will take. I don't know whether at the end we will be a uh, success or not. We just want to share it. I really hope we will have a happy ending. Hope you will join us. <laughs> Please click like and subscribe our channel and we will keep you updated. See you next time.